in previous session i have started topic chemical thermodynamics in that we studied first part introduction then second one is terms used in thermodynamics and then third nature of work and heat okay let us start now fourth point expression for pressure volume work that is pv work the question may be asked on this part as derive the expression for pv work for two marks derivation is very simple okay let us see that derivation see here a certain amount of a gas with pressure p and has a volume v1 is enclosed in this cylinder with this frictionless movable piston having the area is equal to a okay next temperature consider it is a t and the pressure on the gas that is external pressure is a p external okay this is a external pressure now you know one formula pressure is a force per unit area pressure is force per unit area therefore force is equal to pressure into a you know this part okay now consider suppose that gas is expand that is suppose on expansion of gas takes place on expansion what happen force is exerted expansion takes place suppose from volume v1 to this v2 up to this with a distance d okay that is here piston moves in a upward direction now on expansion force is exerted how much is equal to the pressure with which that gas moves the piston and the area of the piston now that pressure is equal to this pressure external pressure in a equal in a magnitude but with the opposite sign to that of external pressure therefore force is equal to is yes, this that pressure is equal in magnitude but opposite sign that of the external pressure therefore this one external pressure into area pressure into area now consider this equation as equation number 1 now next in previous session we studied that the work is force into distance work is equal to force into distance now substitute this value of force from equation number 1 in this that is minus p external into a this is a force and then this one d now see here area of the piston and this is a d piston now area of the piston and this is a distance d a into d is equal to this one that is change in volume change in volume that is delta v now substitute that value minus p external into change in volume okay now this delta v here delta v see this one that is v2 minus this v1 this one is delta v that is minus p external into v2 minus v1 is a w this is the pv work very simple okay now consider now one thing remember here when any derivation is asked you derive that formula and write the terms involved in it what is the meaning of that term see here w is a pv type work okay w is is a work then p external 
is an external pressure. Actually, it is a constant external pressure. Then, next, V2. V2 is the final volume. Always remember that you have to mention the meaning of the terms. And V1 is initial volume. Yes. Now consider the sign of this work. Okay. See here what happens here? Expansion takes place. Here expansion takes place. Here the expansion. Now for the expansion. Expansion. Yes, work done by the system. Work done by the system. Now during expansion what happens? Here V2 is greater than V1. V2 is greater than V1. Now see here. In this formula, suppose if this V2 is greater than this V1, then this value is positive. This value is positive, this is negative. Negative positive, then W become W is negative. Actually, in this formula, the V2 minus V1 is positive. Yes, am I right? Okay. Next, consider, suppose gas is compressed. What happens? For compression. Yes. For compression. Work done on the system. Work done on the system. In that case, work done on the system that is compressed. Therefore, here V1 is greater than V2. If V1 is greater than V2, then this value becomes negative, negative, negative. W becomes positive. Okay, that is here. V2 minus V1 is negative. Now, remember here, when derivation is asked, write only this much part. Okay. Do not write this. This is useful for to solve the numericals. For that purpose, we require this information. Okay. So, suppose it is asked, especially when work is positive and negative, explain that. Then you have to mention this term. It's about the derivation. Now, consider the one part free expansion and then we will start to solve the numerical based on this formula. I will give you a lot of tips and tricks to solve the numericals. Okay. Let us consider now the free expansion. Next point is free expansion. Now let us see what is meant by free expansion. That is when gas expands in a vacuum. Okay. Now, how much work done during that process or during the free expansion? You know that the, you studied just now, W is equal to minus P external delta V. That is, here work depends on the external pressure, on the opposing force. Okay. Now, see here, when gas expands in a vacuum, vacuum is no air, that is no pressure, that is no opposing force, that is external pressure is zero. Here external pressure is zero means work is equal to zero. Means you can say that no work done, no work is done when the gas expands freely in vacuum. 
Okay. Then, what is the meaning of free expansion now? Free expansion means the expansion is against zero opposing force. Zero opposing force. Okay. Now, the question may be asked on this part. What is meant by free expansion? Or MCQ may be asked. Very short answer may be asked. How much work done during free expansion like this? The question may be asked on this part. Okay. Now, consider the numerical based on this formula. PV type of work. Okay. First term tips and then consider the numericals. Now let us see units of work and energy. Actually work is one form of energy. Now just now we studied the PV type of work. Work is equal to minus P external delta V. That is minus P external V2 minus V1. Okay. Now what are the units for this work? See here. If the pressure is in bar and volume in Tm cube, that is Tm cube, that is liter, then the work is in Tm cube bar. Okay. Suppose the pressure is in its SI unit Pascal. Volume is in meter cube. Then work is in a joule. It means that 1 joule is equal to 1 pascal into 1 meter cube. That is 1 joule is equal to 1 pascal meter cube. Yes? Okay. Always remember that if the pressure in this bar, volume and dm cube, then work in this. And Pascal, pressure in Pascal, volume in meter cube, then work in joule. But suppose, if you want to convert the dm cube bar to joule, that is this one. That is, it is necessary to convert this into this, this into this. Okay, see here. Suppose, now 1 dm cube bar means how much joules. 1 dm cube bar, how much joules. Now convert that first dm cube to meter cube. Yes, 1 dm cube is equal to 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube. And for bar, 1 bar is equal to 10 raised to 5 pascal. Okay, now substitute the value of dm cube. Convert this dm cube to meter cube. That is 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube. And bar to pascal 10 raised to 5 pascal. Therefore, it is 10 raised to 2 meter cube pascal. That is 100 meter cube pascal. Now, meter cube pascal means joule. That is 100 joule. That is 1 dm cube bar is equal to 100 joule. And when you solve the numericals, this is very important. One additional information. Suppose the pressure is in kilopascal. And volume is in suppose dm cube. Then unit of work is? Yes. 2 pascal, kilopascal to pascal multiplied by 1000 and here divided by 1000. That is same. That is here in a joule. Okay. Remember this thing to solve the numerical. Now, let us consider the numericals in next session. Okay. In this session, you studied expression for PV type of work.
here question based on that part answer remains same question may be asked like this or this or this answer is same next then free expansion we studied free expansion based on that this question this and this one mcq here very simple questions next lastly units of work now that 1 dm cube bar is equal to how much joule fill in the blanks okay the answers of all these questions are available in this session only solve this question as a homework okay now the next session we will consider the numerical based on this derivation that is based on this formula